Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called Happier by Ed Sheeran in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the awesome chorus section It's my favorite section I'm going to give you a quick preview of what you're going to learn It goes like this, check it out Okay, that's it. It kind of sounds sad on the piano, but anyway, it's a pretty nice tune. Let's go ahead and break it up into four parts so it's easier to learn. Let's go. First part, right hand starts on the G here. It's the G, okay, middle C is here for reference, right? We go to the G, that's where we start on, okay? This goes G, A, up to C, D, E, G, E, and then two Cs. And then down to G twice. C, D, that's the first part for the right hand. One more time for this first part, so it goes like this, goes G, A, C, D, E, G, E, C, C. Down to the G, G, A, C, D, like that. That's the right hand for the first part. Once you get that left hand, we have four chords you have to remember, because these four chords make up a lot of the stuff. Okay, so in this four chords, in this particular order, it's A minor, which is A, C, E. Second chord is F major, which is F, A, C. And then the third and the fourth chord are both C major chords, C, E, G, so two of them. Okay, as you can see, all of these four chords are all white note chords, okay? It's pretty easy to remember, okay? It has a similar distance around it every single time, okay? So A minor, F major, C major twice, okay? So it's easy to remember these ones because you can see every single chord, it's always like white note, skip a white note, next white note, skip a white note, and then the next white note, that's the chord, okay? But anyways, okay, with that in mind, the two hands together, it goes like this for the first part. So right hand starts first. E and A minor together. After E, F major by itself. After C, C major by itself. G comes in. Second G and C major together. And that's it for this first part. One more time, so it goes like this. Check it out. Together. Here. Here. Together. And that's it for the first part. Okay, so now moving on to the second part. Right hand continues up to the F, E, D, C, E. C, D, E, G. And that's the second part for the right hand. One more time. So it goes like this. Uh, let me see. Okay, it goes F, E, D, C, E. C, D, E, G. Okay, so that's the right hand for the second part. Once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. The same four chords that we did in the first part, as I said. So it's A minor, A, C, E, F major, which is F, A, C, and two C major chords once again, which is C, E, G, so two of them. Okay, so as I said, in this lesson, in this section that I'm teaching you, it's always these four chords in this particular order. So if you remember it now, then you have a great time to like easily learn the rest of it, okay? So F and A minor together for the second part, so together, D and F major together, after E, C major by itself, C and C major together. Just like that. One more time, so it goes like this, together, together, here, together. And that's it for the second part. So, so far, the two parts we've learned will be played back to back like this, check it out. Moving on, so third part right hand goes up to the A here, and then another two more A's, and then G, E, down to the lower A, B, C, D. And that's the third part for the right hand one more time, so it goes up to the A, 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 G, E, down to the A, B, C, D, like that. And that's the right hand for the third part. Okay, once you get that left hand, we have four chords, the same four chords as, as I said before. So if you recall, that's A minor, A, C, E, F major once again, F, A, C, and the two C major chords, C, E, G, so two of them. Simple stuff, so with that in mind, the two hands together goes like this, so the high A and A minor together. Third A and F major together. After E, C major by itself. 
down to the A and C major together. Just like that. One more time, so it goes together, together, here, together. And that is the third part. So, so far, the three parts we've learned will be played back to back like this. Check it out, so it goes. Just like that. Okay, moving on to the fourth and last part of this section. Right hand goes E, G, E, C, C. Okay, pretty simple stuff. Only five notes for this last fourth part. Okay, so one more time. So E, G, E, C, C. And that is the right hand for this fourth part. Okay, so once you get that left hand, once again, we have the exact same four chords again. So as you know, it's A minor, A, C, E, F major, which is F, A, C, and two C major chords, C, G, so two of them. Okay, simple stuff with that in mind. The two hands together goes like this, E and A minor together. After that, F major by itself. After C, C major by itself. C major by itself again. That's the fourth and last part. One more time, so it goes like this. Together. Here. 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 And that's it for the fourth part. Pretty simple stuff, okay? So back to back, the four parts we've learned in this lesson will be played like this. Check it out, so it goes. That's it. All right, so once you get this melody and chord version right, if you want to make it more interesting, well, uh, make it a more bigger and stuff, you can add improvisations to it. But alone, just with these block chords, it already sounds pretty good. It sounds like a kind of sad and emotional, kind of like reflective kind of song already. But anyway, yeah, so for the left hand, you can add some rhythmic patterns to the chords. So it's not much to it. You can be like, dun, 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 dun. That kind of feel. So with applying it, it requires a little bit of hand hand independence because the left hand is kind of doing its own thing now, but not really. It's still doing the chords. But anyway, so go something like this. So that's simple, and then you can even make it a bit more like sad ballad kind of style by adding adding like arpeggios and stuff, something like this. Still based on all the chords. See, no, nothing really changes. It's only the um, improvisational patterns, something like this. Something like that, okay? So yeah, it like with these kind of stuff, it kind of, I guess, brings a little bit more interest uh, to other people because it's not just the melody and chords, but yeah, obviously all of this is formed by the melody and chords. That's why it's so important to learn it. That's why I always, in all my tutorials, I teach this way. There's always um, melody and chords. Some people say, oh, why is this so easy, etc. Well, if you don't want to make it easy, then you can add all these improvisations on top of it and to make it harder. So that's how you actually do it. But anyway, yeah. So if you if you understand this method, if you just like, kind of like, uh, acknowledge what I do. Go ahead, if you want to learn more from me, um, you can actually go to my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more advanced piano from me. Learn, um, yeah, a lot of stuff. It's like how to play by ear, how to improvise, how to read sheet music for like classical enthusiasts, um, and yeah, a lot of other stuff. So it's literally like thousands and thousands of hours worth of like lessons there on my website. But anyway, check it out in the description. If you want to learn more Ed Sheeran songs on my channel, go ahead, uh, just search up Ed Sheeran, Amos doll in the search bar and you find it all. And yeah, and as for now, check out the rest of my channel because literally I have multiple thousands of
piano videos that I've made on this channel for you to enjoy and learn from. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.